Last match on the fast lane card that we're going to talk about for this evening is the number one contenders match between Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. Going into this match, I wanted Roman Reigns to win. I was happy that he won. I think that the match was actually pretty damn good, and the crowd was just dead at this point. You know, they didn't really give it that much of a credit. Um, one person in the crowd chanting boring, you know, it happens and stuff. Uh, but I did like that it started off where the fans weren't just completely on Daniel Bryan's back, and we had, you know, let's go Bryan, let's go Roman, like, that is what I want to see. You can like Daniel Bryan better, and for the most part, I would say I, I prefer Daniel Bryan now to Roman Reigns in a lot of ways. But when people are just like militantly against the Roman Reigns thing, and it, it, just because he's not Daniel Bryan or whatever, that was just ridiculous. We've talked about this many, many times. I don't need to go down that route again. But I like to see when people are actually willing to give something a chance if they're not super, super into it and stuff. So that was nice. If it would have just been booing the entire time for Roman Reigns, it would have killed this even more. I missed what apparently was like the best part of the match. I looked away just in time for this, and then they didn't uh, replay it for me to watch it. With uh, Brian countering the Superman punch, he did some kind of a kick or something. Do you guys remember this? They went no. nuts about it when it happened, and then I was just like, I'm not going to go back and watch this. Like, oh, he jumped up with the uh, Superman punch, and Brian kicked him in the gut. Uh, it was just like a drop kick. Something. I don't remember exactly. Nah, that doesn't seem that great, then. It wasn't that great. They were just like, oh my god, that's such a great fucking counter. And I was just like, oh, I missed that. I keep forgetting that I can do the rewind thing on the network. Still. Over and over again, I keep forgetting about that. I'm just like, alright, well, maybe I'll check out the highlights. <laughs> like, um, Roman Reigns... Uh, no, I'm screwed up. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. With, uh, you know, clean pin. So, happy about that. What do you guys think? Good direction? Good match? Absolutely. Yep, it was a solid match. Roman Reigns' best outing. It's what he needed. Fans were quiet at the start, but they got him into it. And the bright men won. Absolutely. Roman Reigns uh, is the man that they're going to be going with. And as long as he doesn't get popped for a steroid scandal, he uh, should be okay. <laughs> what did you think about the little handshake at the end? They kind I thought of it was this on perfectly. Well, but... I thought it was perfectly done. If it was like the whole like full handshake and hug and that old bullshit, that would have been schmaltzy, and no one would have gone with that mm -hmm. because it was kind of like a begrudging handshake. And you know, he like, you know, like showed he had respect for him, but he was like kind of doubting him. Like, you better kick his ass. Like, I thought that was perfectly done. Yeah, you better use this opportunity that you took from me. You better make the most of it. It was fucking awesome. That was my favorite part of this whole segment. Because, like you said, if they would have just done the whole, like, we're going to hug it out and be best buddies from now on, it's a little unbelievable. Yeah, it wasn't like, oh, man, congrats, great you're respect, saying, raise your arm. You're saying that you wouldn't believe that? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love doing that Roman Reigns thing, like... I'll be like, you know, let my dog out or something, and he'll be giving me this stupid ass look on my face, and I'll just like go like, ooh, just to see what he fucking does or something. Like, it is so goddamn fun to do that. Hey, hey, I just thought of a joke. Why does Roman Reigns take steroids? Why? To make himself look strong. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing: I accidentally slipped up on my podcast and called him Roman Roid. <laughs> <laughs> Roman Roid. <laughs> <laughs> if that actually came true, like that's the perfect name to use for him. That would be such a good character change. Like he's just kind of like, you know what? Fuck all you fans. I'm Roman Roid now. <laughs> like, and he just goes into a Roid rage, kind of the whole like um, Roman Roy. <laughs> the, uh, the whole Ken Shamrock he snaps thing. It's like, hey, Roman's going into a Roid rage. <laughs> Ooh, he starts like running around the ring like a fucking lunatic, punching the ground. <laughs> Oh my god, I would love to see this and that oh no, he's stupid his shit wife we had for the Rusev thing. <laughs> we should book WrestleMania this way. <laughs> All these stupid ideas that we have. I'm surprised no one's actually gone with the name Royd in their wrestling name and had their finisher called Royd Rage. I could have seen that in the Attitude Era. We're too busy getting Silent Rage. <laughs> silent Rage. I'm like, you know, entertaining, but not. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 
I'm that quiet, boring version of entertaining. <laughs> Oh, it's great. We'll go with you instead of the two guys that can really wrestle. <laughs> oh, fucking tough enough. Um, yeah, so uh, Roman Reigns going to get that title shot. We're going to figure out more what's happening with this whole Brock Lesnar thing. When that happens, uh, a lot of that information gets out. But I'm... I ra- oh, wait. Someone's coming in from Reddit. Roman Reigns is going to be a fisherman? Oh, sweet, man. That's going to be fucking awesome. On steroids. Even better. Instead of the Gordon's fisherman, it's the Roman's fisherman. <laughs> the like Roman's him. fisherman. <laughs> He's still just going to do everything else that we were saying. That's a right rage and everything. Uh, can somebody please Photoshop that, by the way? Anybody leaving a comment and stuff? Photoshop a version of the Gordon's fisherman, but Roman Reigns. <laughs> and post that. And you will. I guarantee you will get the comment of the week for next week. <laughs> Post that on Mega Maniacs or something like that if you can't just post it on Facebook or uh, YouTube or any of the other kind of stuff like that. Matter of fact, you should Photoshop our jokes more often. Yeah, start doing that, guys. Maybe I'll actually include hey, that. Hey, you lazy that. bastards. Do, yeah, some... do, do stuff for us. Make us feel like we're fucking celebrities because right now we feel like we're fucking nobodies. Yeah, I Photoshopped uh, Jerry the Krang Lawler the other night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I do my parts. I fucking made Drew Bat. <laughs> we all know what I've made. <laughs> <laughs> and what I tainted. <laughs> Sad thing is, I wasn't even referring to anything specifically. I was just saying that to be facetious, and then like somehow you guys knew what I was referring to when I wasn't referring to anything. <laughs> I can only imagine what I've done. We've just made a whole bunch of terrible things. That's what I was laughing at. <laughs> yeah. like, when you start getting uh, into Drew Tista and shit, like. <laughs> That's like no, the, I was on about the innocent well, side. I was on about the Miguel side. Yeah, the Miguel uh, stuff is really bad. Uh, God, just everything. Uh, wanted posters for certain people and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot he made that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Photoshop some stuff for us, guys. So whoever gets like awesome Photoshop stuff, I'll give you guys uh, mentions in the rest hold and whatever. Um, God's despite... sake, don't give Photoshop to me. <laughs> That's gotta be painful. We got one more thing to do on this episode. We gotta talk about some Fantasy League things. So stay tuned and finish off this episode in the next part. <laughs>